While the weather outside is below freezing, politics in Port Arthur is heating up. Mainly as a result of a flyer in which a predominantly African-American activist group criticizes an African-American candidate for city council on racial grounds. 12 News HD anchor Angel San Juan joins us with the candidate's reaction to it all. Angel. Mike Mason is running for the District 1 seat on the Port Arthur City Council. The election is not until May, but already he's become the target of what his supporters and other citizens consider an offensive and negative campaign. Mike Mason is a retired educator, a newcomer to the political world, and very low-key, not the type of person you'd find in the middle of a political controversy. I know myself. I know who I am, I know what I am. And Mason says he's not the person described in this flyer, a flyer that's been circulated in church parking lots and at high school basketball games. Oh, wow. We showed it to Port Arthur voter Pamela Robinson, and she did not like it. Oh, that's inappropriate to me. The flyer insinuates that if elected, Mason would be a puppet or an Uncle Tom, comparing him to the despised character of Stephen the house slave in the movie Django Unchained. Stephen, this is Django. You two ought to hate each other. Who's fiercely loyal to his master. There's a negative stigma behind it. So no, I just don't think that a campaign like that would be appropriate. The flyer with strong racial overtones implies Mason would support those in power and not the people. It, it was a little discouraging, but it's not something that's going to deter my ambition and my focus as far as moving forward in this political uh, race. The flyer has also been posted in PA Politics on Facebook. And Monday, the site's administrator, Anton Godot, wrote, Due to recent controversy regarding a flyer distributed and posted on our family of sites, it is imperative that everyone knows that politics is a game for grown-ups, not for the faint at heart. But I know that's part of it, and we'll just rise above it. And Mr. Mason told me he's ready to put the controversy behind him because he wants to focus on uniting Port Arthur, not dividing it. As for Mr. Godot, who runs the PA Politics site where the flyer was posted, he told me his members are allowed to post their political opinions, and he says the site is aimed at educating voters. They are starting really early, <laughs> Really though, early. Right? It's incredible. Yeah, the election is in May, so uh, we'll see if people even remember this controversy when they, have, when they get a chance to vote. Mm, it's hard to get stuff like this, though. It is, All it right. is. Thank Angel, you, Angel. thanks very much. We also contacted the man who currently holds the District 1 seat Mason is seeking. Councilman Raymond Scott told us he has yet to announce whether he will seek re-election. Scott did tell us he knew nothing about the flyer. The Port Arthur City elections are on May 10th. The filing period starts January 29th. The parents of baby Olivia Coates, the infant who died.